we want to put some of this stuff to work in 2023. So I asked the panelists, Robert, I didn't get yours yet, but you can sound off on it. Sure. But for their top tips to make a difference on the edge in 2023, Kedra. I mean, it's pretty simple. <laughs> Rich media content. Make your listings look good. That's that's the only way you're going to win eyeballs. Mm -hmm. And you could do that in 2023, right? There's all the tools. This I, is not a hard I thing to do, right? I have never seen an easier time to adopt technology. Mm -hmm. That could be Meredith, nice. there's different styles here between yeah. Meredith and Kedra. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's stuff, I guess mine was a little more long-winded, but it's the same answer. Um, content. I think just content is key, whether it be written, video, uh, rich media, whatever it is, customers are going to need to convince themselves that now is a good time to buy because they're hearing from everyone else that it's not, and they're going to need to fall in love with that home to strive for the ability to do that. So just anything that you can do to educate them and to help them feel comfortable moving forward is, is really going to be key. Yeah, I was going to ask Robert if you have in your um, IDFA, um, was that the right acronym? Correct. Okay. Um, do you promote the value of a new home versus a used house at all? Does that messaging come through? Because you're, and you've got some broad universes that are lightly qualified, right, that you're communicating with. Are, is that integral in your message? That, that's you part of the message if we're targeting an existing community. So it's not uncommon for our builders to be developing a community that's adjacent to an existing community where you have buyers that have been there for many years that like the location are already bought on that and would prefer to be that. So we throw those kinds of messages. And out. are you able to diagnose the specific weaknesses of that neighboring used house community so that you can, again, be relevant on that? In the sense of diagnosis, like, hey, be more. Yeah, you know that you know they, they have X Y Z maintenance problem, or um, were the floor plans were cramped, or I don't know what you know, what the factors were. Yeah, I don't know whether you get that <laughs> level of business uh, intelligence. That not to that level. Yeah, not to that level. But but our our offers typically the ones that are going to resonate is you like the location, it's time for a move up, or it's time for a new home. Yeah. So it, it's 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 tying it to new. Yeah. Right and improving. Yep. All right, Mina, we need to hear from you, but it can't be about uh, photos and... <laughs> <laughs> so. What else is uh, left? <laughs> what else is <laughs> there in the world? <laughs> that's how it is when you're in a startup like that, right? It's just like, that's what it is. Yeah, but. yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Just get how about content? let's talk about applying uh, your, um, your technology. I mean, is there a tip for fast implementation that you think could make a difference in 2023? Yeah, well, the implementation is fast. I think it's more about like what I said about getting the photos of the actual property, even if they don't look great, even if they're not, you know, just getting like starting with that is just going to get you ahead. And why do you think that makes such a big difference versus models? and? Because people want to see the actual like physical space that they're gonna move into and the models like don't really cut it, unfortunately, anymore. Okay. They're, yeah. Go ahead. Robert, did you have something? Because I asked you to just opine on something else, but. Oh, to add. For 2023, um, so, some sort of quick hitter that you think would make a difference in terms of, um, maybe, maybe it's IDFA. I mean, I, well, I don't know whether you think that's a quick hitter or not. Yes, it is. If, if you're already investing in social media advertisement and you're having challenges with audiences, I would highly encourage you to consider experimenting with the IDFA as an audience based on a specific geolocation and coupled with customizing the ad to the audience. That, that, that is a solution right now that has deemed to be effective and proving great results for our clients. Greg. I kind of hit on this in my presentation, but this idea of transparency, when, when you talk about the simple question of how much will this home cost, why is that so hard for us to answer? Is it, well, I get why, because they can do all these different things and, you know, and also, hey, the supplies might change tomorrow and you know, all, all these challenges that come along with that. But when you look at what a resale home is, there's a number. It's there, right. you know, and it's, I can understand it and I can process it. And so this idea, uh, and especially as we move toward this idea of actually selling homes completely online, which we're on the cusp of and, and some are doing, you got to have a number. 
So we got to figure out how do we get to that number? How do we share that and get comfortable with that idea? Well, you talked a lot about trust. And this is this like top of the list in terms of earning trust? Because if you're hiding the price on somebody's biggest purchase mm -hmm. from them, that's yeah. that's got to be. Or, or it says starting from home, starting from 490, but you really can't get in for 600, less than 600, you know, I mean, unless you'd like just have the shell that, that, you know, is empty or something. But but yet we do that a lot in our marketing, don't we? Gotcha. All right. Well, um, believe it or not, we got through it on time. We got back on time. <laughs> so I want to thank Zillow New Construction and Kadra because you're actually the sponsor of this session thank and you. Nervous you decided not to have a pitch, but you got a lot of information through anyway, right? Yep, and if you need a pitch, we've got experts right back there. <laughs> Wave, guys. Um, and they'll be kind of milling about this. So if you have questions on what we do, what we sell, how we can help you, they are the experts. They'll be in the expo hall tomorrow and Wednesday and can answer everything from the expert point of view. In booth number 207. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then thanks to all the panelists. Great job, everybody. Every, everybody had a little different flavor and a good tip to I really appreciate it.